Hello, and welcome to Market Media Channel. When new operating systems comes with new features, this one was long overdue. Let me show you a new feature of Android Marshmallow called Do Not Disturb Mode. Do Not Disturb Mode allows you to automate quiet time you often desire so much and do not have. Now I'm going to show you how to configure it. I'm using Samsung phone and I'm going to show you that feature on a Samsung phone, but it's available on all Marshmallow uh, Android operating systems. So let me show you how to get to it first and it will go from there. Now to find this uh, Do Not Disturb mode, there's two options. One is you can go to your apps, settings, let me, oh, just missed it, um, settings. And if you scroll down to sound and vibration, and some phone will say sound and notifications, click on it, you will see do not disturb mode as one of the options. The simpler way on some of the phones, you can simply uh, slide from the top, top and uh, scroll to the right, and you will see do not disturb button, and I'll get you to the same exact place. Now to configure Do Not Disturb Mode, you need to click on it, and you can turn it on. And as soon as you turn it on, do not, you can see the notification Do Not Disturb Mode has been turned on. And you can do it on the schedule. And in this case, again, you can turn the schedule off and on. Uh, if you simply turn it on without schedule, it'll stay on until you disable it. But by turning on the schedule, it will automatically uh, start during the time that you or day you desire. And as you can see below, there's days. You can click on that and select specific day you want the feature to be turned on. And we go back. And then there's start time and add time you can select. And there's also allow exceptions. It's a great uh, feature uh, where you can actually specify when, wh who, where, you know, that kind of stuff. So let's click and let's explore it a little more. So if there's no exceptions, obviously, there's, it simply is going to turn on and you will not get any notifications or any of that stuff. And it's great if you just want complete quiet. Um, you can also set to alarm only, which if you are using your phone as an alarm, that's a great option. That way, nothing, phone calls, none of that is going to come through unless it's an alarm to wake you up. Or you can go custom. And this is a very, very configurable feature where you can see you can turn on an alarm you can do uh to repeat calls which is a great feature somebody's trying to get a hold of you and then make a first phone call and you're not available and then there is you make a second phone call you can set it so if it's within 15 minutes the same call or call it actually goes through i love that feature uh, for a lot of us if it's a work uh, a situation and there's an emergency and they try to really try to get a hold of you that's the way to do it. Or you can actually, uh, by clicking a specific caller, you can do it anybody from your contacts, or you can select favorite contacts, which is also great. And I'm going to click all at this point. And there can also do messages. So if you got text uh, messages coming through, and again, you got, it's very similar. You can do it from contacts or from favorite contacts, and you can be as specific as you want and you scroll down, you'll see events and task alerts, same thing. Then there's reminders, and you can set up your priority callers. All in all, it's a great feature, and it works wonderfully uh, to, to set up that quiet time you want. Uh, you could set it at night, or if you know that you have a specific uh, time of the day that you need this kind of uh, quiet time uh, and automation, it works great. The only downfall of this is you can only set up one specific time period. It would be nice uh, for, for new versions to have more than one instance of that. That would improve that situation greatly. But for now, this is a great feature. And if you want more of that, you can watch some of my other automation videos to get you multiple uh, downtimes or specific settings for this. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe.